look at um, <laughs> God, I really do feel strange having done all this banter and then now telling you about my very serious song. So do you all know Snow White, the story of Snow White? Yes. Yes? Just one person there. <laughs> that's good. And you all laughs a lot. That's lovely, charming. But no other people, some people did mutter. So you've all got less polite, but still quite interactive. That's good. <laughs> okay, well, bear, keep a bit of the idea of Snow White on one side of your mind, Brian, and everyone else. And then um, I want you to imagine that uh, there's a whole other story that comes before Snow White about um, Freya, who is the goddess of love, right, in the Nordic pantheon. And um, she's quite fantastic and uh, <laughs> Uh, basically has a very different lifestyle to Snow White, who's quite subservient. She has this epic sort of romance where she picks dead warriors to live with her if they're handsome and they, they, they get it on and all that kind of stuff. And one day, she's married but she doesn't care, it's all very liberal, and one day she goes and picks um, the woman who laughs at everything's looking in her bag for her phone to make some calls. Just bear with me, bear with me. I know the lights are bright, but unfortunately I can see you. I haven't picked you out. Um, yes, but anyway, one day this, this Freya goddess decides that she wants to go and get the best diamond in the world. So she travels down under the ground where the dwarves have the best diamond in the world. And they say, well, you can only have the best diamond in the world if you maybe, you know, like sleep with a different dwarf every night for a year. And she's like, oh. I'll give you a bit of a scrub up, that'll be all right. So she has this kind of really mad life. I'm not sure we necessarily would want, but it's very different to Snow White, who essentially slays very still in a coffin after doing quite a lot of housework. <laughs> so, um, so basically, um, and the, on the Freya had like horses with wings, like the Valkyries, those women were her women, and so she had like quite an active time. And so I basically wrote a song about um, the fact that if you when stories are handed down through patriarchy. Is anyone here actually a feminist, or is it just me and Kate? <laughs> there are a couple, hey, there are a few, everyone, all the girls in the middle are just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to pull Brian later, so I'm not going to <laughs> That's fair enough, no, it's all right. Um, I, yes, so basically, um, this is a song about how uh, patriarchy is a word we use when we're in feminism. Did you probably know this? But anyway, so you reduce stories down, and the women get less and less active. That was my point. Should I do the song? <laughs> it's not funny, but that sort of fits the rest of my, that sort of fits my banter, so that's all right. Brian? Aww. Oh, look at that. But no, sit down again. Everyone, are you ready? When you stand up, you say, everyone, Aww. like that. No, no, when he stands up, bless you. <laughs> Just on our own little hands. <laughs> Feminism would be good for you, sweetheart. And accuracy. As we do. No, you were. You are. I'm so sorry. You just didn't put your hand as I didn't realise. Yeah. Oh, it was there. You <laughs> were just giving someone a wristy at the time. That's fine. That's fair enough. And it was a woman, so that's perfectly exactly that, that. That is very feminist. Really. Okay. Because um, obviously, feminists never give their boyfriends wristies. That's fine. Um, so um, when, we, when, when Brian ascends with the uke, could you all go, ah? So ready? Three, two, one. Aww. Aww, that's it. Ooh. And a sort of multi-tone thing that happens. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Now, <laughs> how do these work then? Is it sort of is it sort of like that? <laughs> is that sort of right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. I haven't done this before. I've only been playing you for about two weeks. No fun. <laughs> what an adventure we're going to have on a voyage. <laughs> And also, I'm going to do that quite a lot. <laughs> I have to look down for my terribly serious song and check what chords I'm playing. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> anyway, so uh, being bearing in mind Freya on one side of the equation and uh, Snow White on the other, okay? And it's sort of a folksy song, so it's not even going to go fast. <laughs> so um, thank you all for being so nice. I wish, I wish I let it be a girl for me Hair as black as ebony and such modesty On her back she watches leaves and sky and the snow Dimly she recalls that she used to know How a snowflake looked before when she gazed on it from above. The maid the little men adore thinks of warriors she used to love. Handsome heroes by the score, 
Taste them sweat and feel them shall. Now she's frozen to the core, kept in glass, their snow white dark. Smother me in sand, deep within the wood. Polish me by hand, and I always will be. Silence is lonely, she has to admit. It's grim since to the brothers she's had to submit. Ooh, hold on. It's grim since to the brothers she's had to submit. Once a goddess and a queen, her days were short, nights were long, and she's not quite sure if it's obscene. But her pleasure came fast in that land. She and Valkyries were seen on flying horses white and grand. Now she's washed to keep her clean. Not a breath can miss the sand. Cover me in water deep within the I go from wife to daughter, and forever will be good. Skin of snow and lips of blood, so she can say, Oh yes, I love you as I should, I'll always stay. Oh yes, I love you as I should, I'll never stray. Oh yes, I love you as I should, oh yes.